just get started. If you if you doubt the letter, send it out and see what happens. And then if it comes back, then you're like, oh crap, I shouldn't even pay that attention. That was just not even something I should have paid attention to. So I got I'm trying to help you get over your own crap. A lot of people have that crap, right? <laughs> I, I had crap. I'm not saying I'm I'm invincible. I had crap before I learned how to do this. Before I, I had thousands of, of people who relied on me and my systems, I was in that situation. I was that crap. You know, I had all that crap that was holding me down, and I just didn't want to take action. It was just, you know, it was over here. I didn't want to look at it. I'm like, eh, you know, I was already, I was doing well in my business. I was making money. I didn't really have to worry about that until I had to worry about it. And I always just shoved it under the rug because it was always something that was kind of taunting at me, saying, nah, 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 you're credit sucks, right? <laughs> it's, it's like, we don't want to mess with it. It's just okay if I just don't look at it, right? And, and that's, a lot of people do that. And I, and I can appreciate that. I can relate to that, just as I hope you can relate to what I'm saying. But what you have to understand is the cut the strings is a process in the system to help you to start to uh, remove those personal identifiers and uh, or update them so you can get all of them off so you don't look like such a runner to the mortgage broker or underwriters or uh, other companies that you may be trying to purchase products for, for cars, houses, insurance, uh, get that new job. You know, if you go to a job and you got all this stuff on your credit report with different addresses and stuff, they may even be reluctant to hire you because they're like, man, I don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow when I hire you. You've been moving around so much. Why have you been moving? So, you know, these things are important. A lot of us that are in different states don't contend with that. There's some states that you, you they do check your credit before they give you a job. There's a lot of states and that have you have to get your own insurance. And, and when you have to get your own insurance, that that if they look at your credit report, which they do, they're going to determine what your payment is going to be. Your interest rate is going to be higher, just like a car. That's why when someone goes in with a, uh, a 500 score to get a vehicle, they have to get a lesser vehicle because they can't go for the bigger amount because they're not going to sell it to them because you have to have a bigger down payment and get and the interest rate's going to be ridiculous. I remember a time many years ago that I was paying 24% for a freaking uh, Grand Am because my credit score was in the fives, right? Yes, fives, like 540. And I went and get a car. I, I had money, so I didn't understand. I had to put a bigger down payment. I think I traded in another car, so they got that car too. And once I learned all this, how the how all this stuff works, it, it kind of like, feel like going back in and going, man, you guys got me, but good for them, right? But when you understand the process and you understand how to change that game and you know the code, right? The 35, 30, 10, 15, 10, right? If you guys don't know what that is, go watch my other videos. I talk about that. I break it down, the 35, 30, 10, 15, 10, and what that is. If you understand that code, you're going to be like this and your credit score is going to skyrocket.